Mile zero. Hey! Hey, go on. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my God, rocking horse, like horribly. Okay. <gasps> what the hell is that? I know, I don't know what it is. Glenn, uh, no, I'm good, I'm good. We figured it out. I mean, I rode it, but it sucked. But he is trying to knock me off. Thanks, Gary. Thank you, Gary. All right, a little bit hot. Yeah. 28 Celsius to start, but so far no flies, which is more than I expected. All right, I guess we're gonna have some heat training whether we like it or not. Mile zero, inch zero. We're at the rectangle today. The rectangle is exactly what it sounds like. It's a four mile rectangle. So we can do all kinds of different things and metrics and say something wise, SJ. Walk in the shade, trot in the sun. That's very wise. <laughs> Endurance tip number one for today. Walk in the shade, trot in the sun. Endurance tip number two is... Tip, tip number two is if you see that fluorescent thing on Lynn's back, it's a camel back and it's filled with water, frozen water. So it, it actually keeps her cool because it's been in the freezer. And as it thaws, she can hydrate. And uh, yeah, that's how we carry our water on long journeys. It is hot today, but it's just one of those beautiful summery feeling days. Walking along right now anyway, there's a beautiful breeze and you can see the lighting is just super pretty right now. This is another pretty road. We've been up this road before. Something about this road. You want to take a little go? Cole is aware, but he is not this spooky pony I was dealing with a few days ago. Thank goodness. Oh, you can smell the, the bay. It smells good. Almost like Someone tried to start a Christmas tree park and changed their minds. Yeah, kind of. I really like it. It's like just worth getting out in, just to enjoy. So stinking pretty. It's good for the horses because they keep hitting these little holes or divots and they have to kind of balance themselves. Look at the random tall trees admit in amongst all the new growth. One mile coal on this hot and sweaty day. Tip number three for riding in the heat, keep an eye on your horse's heart rate. Especially if you're aware of it anyway, your heart rates do tend to get higher in the heat and it'll help you gauge whether you're overworking your horse or not. Three miles, beautiful hill coming up. Oh, I really wish I had the helmet cam on. I'm gonna have to put the camera away. I think I'm gonna need two hands for this. Whoa. <laughs> Go on. Glenn. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. We figured it out. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, that. I don't know what it is. Rocking horse, like horribly. 
I'm trying. Like I'm not even pulling very far. And we've had some really successful ones this year. I mean, I rode it, but it sucked. And you were falling behind. Yeah, I know. He was like rocking horse so much, he wasn't moving forward. I don't know what it was. I'll figure it out. We did last year and the year before that. Yeah, it's uh, it's got to be 30 degrees. Whew. It's awful. Well, it's hot enough as is drinking already. We gotta get our, I think as he gets his sillies out, yeah. the canners get better too. Don't get left behind. Yeah, I'm starting, I think that they're sweating. I'm starting to see them. gone I don't know what he's doing like I he had no hardly any pressure on at all probably pissed off that Paul's going back and because he doesn't want to I think that might be it but he is trying to knock me off he 100% is I'm riding the ride I have tip number four or five endurance wise for heat do your best to make sure there are water places for your horse know the trail or lay something out because if you don't not only will they be thirsty but you will feel so guilty that because you don't have water that you won't end up doing the ride that you want to do it's very hot if i had got i could have got this camera out quicker cole was up to 128 which is the I think it's been this year and it's because of the heat so kind of thanking the heat helping to get them conditioned definitely wow it's hot Whoa. getting bit it's not a pretty ride can you see me yeah I yeah so. it's not pretty no one looks good right now no one, <laughs> no one looks good Whew. we are at mile 4.5 Horses are taking a huge drink. Trailer's about half a mile away, I think. Okay, dealing with the heat, or endurance tip XY. I actually, this is a question. I put suntan lotion on because I hear it from everyone, you need suntan lotion on. I don't wear it as much as I should. But it is now dripping in my eyes. So does anybody out there have a suggestion 
how to wear suntan lotion when you're perspiring this bad and not have your eyes end up burning out of your head. Come on. Flies are getting bad. Well, I've seen them a lot worse, but the flies are definitely making an appearance. Endurance tip number seven for the heat. Bring extra fly spray with you or whatever you use because the horses will sweat and they may need a reapplication. So you might be thinking, but Lynn, there's a lot of other tips for riding in the heat that you haven't talked about that are pretty obvious. And you're right, there are. Some tips we don't employ unless we're riding in extreme heat. So we'll do other videos about that. But also we're working on getting the horses conditioned in the heat. So yes, I could soak coal down and yes, that would cool him down quite a bit. But I'm trying to get that heart rate somewhere over 74 and he needs to get used to the heat. I need to get used to the heat. So we'll save that for another day. Now, if your horse is newer to all of this, if you don't have an Arab, then by all means, endurance tip number nine, brush your horse down with water before you start and each time you stop. Makes a huge difference. There it is, Cole. Home sweet home. But we're not done. We've got to have a little break and then go back out again. Apparently the puddles are just a whole lot more fun than an actual bucket of water. Endurance tip number 10, wet yourself down. And this is me before I wet myself down. I'm gonna check the heat out there, but it's, it's gotta be close to 30 and humid. That is just a little touch of heaven right there. Boy, honestly. Endurance tip number 11, and the most important one of all, don't quit. It would be real easy just to quit right now. We are hot, my heart rate, resting standing here is 128, and I am hot. But I know I can push myself a little bit more. We all know we can push ourselves a little bit more. We're gonna tone it down, but we need to keep pushing if we're gonna end up riding 50 miles in July in this heat. So don't quit. Know your warning signs, learn them, pay attention to them, but don't quit. Round two. <laughs> Zim, he's looking up the trail. Sad, defeated. Oh no, he says, don't say it's true. Cause I know I'm a desert horse, but not today. Come on, stand. Oh, the saddle is hot. Oh God, that saddle is hot. Ah, holy God. Honestly, the breeze is nicer than standing still. Yeah, agreed. Okay, deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths, and here we go, a nice little trot. Come on, Bolt. Endurance heat tip number 12, lip sol. Don't forget to protect your lips. This heat, you will pay dearly if you do. My buddy just had water back at the camp. Paul would stop me at every puddle, but half the time he's just trying to get a bite of grass. My own heart rate is only 154, which isn't bad when you're considering it was 125 hanging around the trailer bad at all. Of course we all know when you stop is when it all adds up on you sometimes. So SJ, tip number 12, if you would agree with me, endurance tip for the heat, is, kind of goes along with the last one, but get out there and ride in the heat. You have to because it's the only way 
that you're going to know what bothers you, what's important to you, what tips work for you, what tips don't work for you. You have to do it. You can talk about it all day, but truly, get out there. Even if it's just a couple miles your first try, get out there and suffer through it. Agree? I agree. I'm loving this day. Isn't that funny how some days just absolutely love being out here? Okay, we're in a part now with no breeze. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. trailer is about half mile away and that will be it for today case in point about getting out there and trying stuff this is a new camel pack there's still quite a bit of water in there it's kinked somehow I think as the water level goes down something happens so boy I need to look into that before a ride oh, we are trotting to the end we've been trotting for probably a mile now one last hurrah. Look at that darn fly. Our average is 4.3, which is pretty remarkable considering all the walking we've done and the fact that I just let the watch run while we stopped and rested and washed our faces and that kind of thing. So I'm more than happy with that. We are going to walk down the hill. So guess what, SJ? What? We are probably going to be just a little over nine and a half miles. And I am not going to try and talk you into going one step further today. <laughs> okay. No rounding off today. We got the job done. I'm good with that. Totally good with that. As we wrap this up, would you say that today was an extraordinary ordinary day? And you know what? You and Azim should lead us home. He knows he's on his way. And uh, I don't think you'll have any issue with him at all. We need to do more and more of that where we get him to lead further and farther as we turn around. Today just wasn't necessarily the day. Azim says, I'm hot, I'm tired, and I see that trailer. I'm very brave right now. Oh, until he isn't. I think I hear thunder, and I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. I actually feel cooler now than when we came to the hold the first time. 2.30 in the day, I suppose we would have been riding at pretty much high noon to begin with. Oh, this shade is so, so nice. Just stay, no, no, don't let him turn around. Stay, st stand there and stop, just stop. Just stop, don't do anything. Just stop. Let me get out of the sun. Let him think about it for a minute. Ask him to go forward, and if he won't, just stop, all right? Stop. Stop. I'm gonna try it. And if he won't go, stop again. Just let him think about, okay, so how do I plan on getting to that trailer if I don't go forward? Perfect. Well done. Proud of you, Cole. Proud of everybody.
Oh, Cole has a girth rub. Oh, buddy. Well, another thing the heat will tell you. Pretty quick. Oh, man. All right. Heart rate is 54. That's been about a solid five minutes. So, again, the rule of thumb is 60 or under after 10 minutes. 51. Look at that full bucket of water. Do you want to sip? Look, look. Here, look. Nope, not even slightly interested. Come on. And the last tip of the day, SJ, mm -hmm. is that as soon as you get back, open the freaking truck up and roll down the windows. Yeah. Because we're not going anywhere for a while. Holy God, it's hot in there. 